In a season unlike any other, with pandemic challenges and constant tests off the field and on it, we've arrived at the ultimate, a winner-take-all game three. It is Vanderbilt and Mississippi State. Winner takes the title. And a big one here early 2-2. And this one looped into right field. Thomas has come in and he will make the play. Tagging is Jordan. And he's in. one nothing State. An unearned run, but they grab the lead first. On the ground, and it's fielded by the shortstop. He waits, throws, and the out is recorded, but in from third comes DeBrule. Carter Young fielded it. He had no play at the plate. It's 2-0 State. And Rowdy into left field, and that's down. What a night for Rowdy Jordan. He'll plate Skinner. He'll head into second, and he's saving his best for the biggest. Two for two. It's 3-0 Mississippi State. Fellas, that's a heck of a piece of hitting right there. I want you to look at where this pitch is. Down and away. Javier Vaz, no chance to make the play. Brings it in as quickly as possible. Now, stayed up 3-0 in the top of the second for two outs. Ooh, they could not have asked for a better start. Up the middle, and it's through. Hancock on 0-2 delivery. Rowdy Jordan's in, and it is now 4-0 State. Again, his first at-bat was a sack fly to drive one in. This time, 0-2. Not a lot of head movement. Still just trying to hit it where it's pitched. Gets the RBI. Most importantly, now Tanner moves over to third. Back up the middle. Tanner delivers. And it's 5-0 State. Another two-strike RBI. What's the thing that Mississippi State does with two strikes? Sure enough, put it in play. Yeah. Put it in play, they pound their chest. That's been their motto, that's been their belief. And most likely their biggest game. They've come up big with two strikes, and that's going to be it probably for Rocker. Got a 5 nothing lead. They had a chance there with the bases loaded to really add on. And this first pitch swinging deep to left field. Skinner going back. Running catch! Braylon Skinner tracks it down. C.J. Rodriguez denied. That's the script for Mississippi State. It's his second inning in a row that the first pitch of the inning got it out. And, and I mean, you appreciate the aggressiveness if you're Vanderbilt, but, man, you, you also got to realize what's going on here. Bednar pitch count, you had it all the way up in the first two. And now you're making it a lot easier for him to stay out there. This ball is poked to left field off the bat of Logan Tanner. It's gone. Logan Tanner home run. Mississippi State adds another. And another step closer to a World Series championship. Tanner's 15th of the year, second hit of the night. Say all you want, watch the legs work here on this spin. Just goes down. Knee almost touches the ground, and he knew it as soon as he felt that sweet spot on the bat. Catch it out front, you keep it fair, Vaz, no more room. This ball is to right center field and deep. Bradfield going back, looking up. See you later. Three-run home run from Kellen Clark, and it's a blowout. Oh, Hale State, 9 nothing. What a performance up and down for Mississippi State. Nine runs, ten hits, no errors. They have not allowed a hit. And the contributions come from everywhere in the lineup. Pushes a bunt to third. James to first. He's out. What a way to end it. And what a way to end a drought. Mississippi State, the national champions, destroying Vanderbilt.